smile, you know, I can't. Or you at least being recorded. Okay, so we are going to graph cosine today. Can we like not the same? No, we absolutely must. Uh, no, so uh, cosine and sine are very similar. In fact, cosine is just a sine function to see it over. It's the same principle. It has a period of 2 pi over b. It has an amplitude of a. <clears throat> So the only difference for cosine is going to be the y value. That's it. We find the period the same way, we do the amplitude the same way. The only difference is going to be the original y value. Okay. And obviously when you when you graph it, it's going to look a little different. The y value. So if we have just a plain old uh, cosine function, y equals cosine x. The number in front of cosine is 1. That means my amplitude is 1. The number in front of x is 1. So my 2 pi over b becomes 2 pi, just like sine. So a little like nuances and finding the, the period and then dividing by four to find the intervals. Okay. You'll still practice those things when you do cosine. The only thing that's going to change are the y values. Okay. So plain old cosines, we're going to start at zero. The period is 2 pi, so we'll end at 2 pi to complete one period. Really? Yeah. All right, uh, we got 29 minutes to complete this lesson before my computer self destructs. Should we really be in the for that? Yeah, we'll be fine. So, and then my, uh, my, my intervals go up by pi over 2, this, did I miss one? Oh, I know what I did. Uh, this was supposed to be x. Okay, so, uh, just skip that. I was I was supposed to write X there. That's why I had an extra. I had extra. Row. I was actually trying to find something, but I thought it was purpose. Because then tell the zero. I did. So, uh, like I said, the only difference is going to be the y value, so now we have to find them. At zero, cosine is one. At pi over two, cosine is zero. So that it goes like that? Yes. For regular cosine. Oh, okay. But so we'll start changing. So wait, how's it going to be like 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0? 1, 0, negative 1. The cosine of pi is negative 1. The cosine of 3 pi over 2 is 0. And the cosine of 2 pi is 1.
So I, I'll graph this the same way. So there's one period. So if we kept graphing more periods of cosine and we laid sine over top, you would see that they were just kind of shifted from each other. So, I want you to uh, graph 2 cosine x. So by changing the amplitude, all we've done just the sign is uh, pull it up and pull it down. Yeah, that's right. Question. Okay, so when I change the period, when I change the number in front of x, it's the same idea as it was for sine. So graph cosine 2x. Alright, so um, so this is how I change B, so the period changes. So I have to plug the number in front of X in for B. So my period uh, is pi. So if I'm starting at zero, I'm ending at pi. To get my intervals, I divide the period by four. So that's where I get the pi over four. So I go up by pi over fours. And my y values are like my original cosine function. And that, that is only one period. So I can do another one.
for all the JMU fans out there. <laughs> Or LSU. Or Alright, so um let's practice. Oh, my God.